Meryl Streep is hitting all the wrong notes in her latest movie, Florence Foster Jenkins, and Vanessa De La Vigna sat down with co-star Simon Helberg for an exclusive interview about the making of the movie. When I was 16 years old, my father told me that if I didn't give up music, he'd cut me off. Of course, he didn't understand. Music is my life. Meryl Streep is Florence Foster Jenkins, a New York socialite who had a passion for singing opera. <laughs> Bravo! It was wonderful, Bunny. Wanna try another take? Well, I don't see why. That seemed perfect to me. Unfortunately, her talent didn't match her ambition. Mm -hmm. Based on a true story, the movie follows Jenkins' pursuit to reach her dream of performing at Carnegie Hall. My stroke. This is the talented young man I was telling you about. Simon Halberg plays her pianist, Cosme McMoon. He actually had to learn to play classical music so he could play live on the set with Streep to create beautifully horrible music for the big screen. She's remarkable, isn't she? Watching you working with Meryl Streep, it was just the dynamic between the two of you. Did that just kind of, you know, come together there? Uh, they, they say making music, you know, for a reason. I guess that's a euphemism for, because it is actually very intimate. We really got to know each other, and, uh, and, and I think we were both kind of scared about what we were doing. It was unknown for both of us, even someone as unbelievably experienced and, and incredible as her. So we sort of held hands and jumped in. You may want to plug your ears when you hear Streep singing, and you'll definitely laugh out loud at Helberg's authentic reactions. She can be a little flat. Flat? It defies medical science. What was your reaction the first time you heard Meryl sing in this role? I was in New York, and we were meeting to, I think, to see if this worked, if we could do this together. And I couldn't believe it. I mean, I, I think it probably was somewhat authentically <laughs> what you see in the movie. I, I think I had a bit of a stunned, like I had just been hit by a truck. What starts out as a comedy turns into a story of determination and hope, helmed by Streep and a fantastic supporting cast to create a pretty emotional and inspiring movie. I think Madame Florence might need more lessons. Please, my wife is ill. Singing is her dream, and I'm going to give it to her. I know you mentioned briefly that you, you're not a very good singer, but you know, are you like a car singer or a shower singer? Like, we all kind of like to just spell things when no one's listening, right? Secretly, yeah, I will sing yeah. in the car or Do you the have shower. a go-to song, like Adele, or like, you know, something where you can just kind of oh. let loose? I've sang some Adele, uh, yeah. you know, and in the bathroom, the acoustics are very good. And That's there's, right. there's a secret part of your, I think, a, a hope that you're like, I kind of hope someone hears me because I think I'm sounding pretty, yeah. pretty sweet today. Um, that's kind of what the the movie. She was like, I'm a dream, I'm a genius, and I'm, a, I'm, I. The gift of music is mine to give. Could we do a little duet, just some um, spontaneous belting? Uh, like I hello like. from the other <laughs> side. That's my Sammy Davis. I think that was beautiful. That, Thank you. That voice that just came out. I, mean, I don't even, even know, know you had happened. that. It's like I ate a Muppet. That's what I work very hard. I study an hour every day. Sometimes two. <laughs> First scene on seven, I'm Vanessa de la Vigna. He really does sing like an angel, doesn't he? Florence Foster Jenkins hits theaters tomorrow.